Hey guys, it's Dima. I'm Andy. Today, Marshall Club is in Las Vegas, Nevada with a very special guest. Now, there's several reasons why we are excited to be here with this particular Sifu. One, it's a Kung Fu movie. I'm sure you've seen it. Ip Man, Sifu Leo Ao Yurong was a technical advisor on that film. Another reason, Shaw Brothers. You guys know how big of fans we are of Shaw Brothers. Sifu Leo Ao Yurong is an instructor of Hong Kirin in the lineage of the master himself, Lao Gao and uh, I'm really excited to see what he has in store for us today. So without much further ado, let's turn it over to the man. Hi everyone, I'm Leo. Hi, good to see you guys, you know, Marshall Cup, you know, I've been waiting for see you guys for a long time. I've seen all your video on YouTube, they're brilliant, you know, but <laughs> I think, you know, it would be nice if you can put some Wing Chun anime into your video, it would be look a lot more attractive. Okay, how about today, we could sh I share some uh, Wing Chun knowledge, you know, and ex um, a movement with you guys, then you can choreographer some of the Wing Chun movement into your video. I love Sounds it. Good. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, right, let's go then. Usually, the people they start Wing Chun, they doing the Wing Chun uh, first form. They learn the Wing Chun first form. It's called Siu Lim Tao. Okay, Siu Lim Tao is mean little idea. Basically, it's just teach you. You know, you have to be totally relaxed. You know, start with your brain empty. You know, nothing, right? And don't think about too much. Right, first thing is relaxation, right? Second is uh, hand movement. It's like, you know, you're learning English, you know, first of all, you need to learn the alphabet, you know, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So the Wing Chun first form will give you some of the hand movement, major hand movement in Wing Chun. In Wing Chun, this is called Tan Sao, this is called Fuk Sao, and this is called Wu Sao. And also, also we got the Palm Strike as well. So this is the, some of the major element, and also we got the Wing Chun Stand, easy to your mouth. I remember trying to teach myself Sinem Tao much like I do to all my Kung Fu forms. I taught myself watching Warriors too, and that movie actually gave us a pretty good explanation of what Sinem Tao was. Sifu emphasized the idea that Sinem Tao is a little idea and it's the little ideas that could be applied into the big picture. So make sure, right? I'm going to kick you, right? So for example, if I kick here, then you know, you almost you can protect yourself, which is quite good, right? This bit, it be open, right? So you turn the left foot a little bit inward, a little bit, right? So now this is okay. So after you understand this in the future, when you have a fork stand, you can do exactly the same thing. I've, I've actually learned it before. Like, uh, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I actually took Wing Chun a little bit in college. Learning it, I was told to emphasize on this and this and this. And then when we did it with Sifu Leo, he told us to do the exact opposite of everything I had learned. So for example, in, in here, if you, for example, if you want to attack my groin, right? So this is how I really do it. I can intercept it. Okay, so this gives you some idea. Okay, right, so this is why when we train it, we don't have to like, oh, holding really hard. We don't have to do it. Just gently. In Wing Chun, it's called this March one because in here, you can't really see what's going on underneath here. So he could end, kick you anytime, right? So, for example, if you kick me here, right, I just have to close it. And that's it. Okay, and also in the future, right, in here, you have a look. Because I learned the power in here. What I do is, I just do this. I can take him down, right? So, you know, also. <laughs> anyway. So from my understanding, I knew the sheep stance was a very effective stance in the close range and it created a good structure for Wing Chun, right? I did not know, however, the applications behind it and how you could take people down with it. So next time I'm sparring Brian... Oh. So the next thing I want to teach you is how the open stance is right there up and down hand here, okay? Right, so a lot of people ask me, what is it about? Actually, it's teach you how to put your hand in, an, in the correct position to defend yourself. So for example, if you come here, I show you, right? If you want to punch me in here, so you try to punch me. Now you can't because I broke the line. So in here, no matter where you touch my arm, you wouldn't able to touch my face. But if my arm is in here, you can see you can go straight to my face or my chest, straight away. So this is too low. In Wing Chun, the first thing is teach you, you have to drop like this in here. So that doesn't matter where you punch me, you know, you still can't touch me. But the argument is, for example, if you put the hand in this position here, right? The argument is people, they may argue, say, oh, if I step side, you know, then I can punch him. For example, just hold the position. If I stand here, boom, I can punch him. So this is pretty useless. It's not. If I step side, you just have to turn. So no matter where I turn, you know, I still can't hit him because the line doesn't change. 
Okay, right. So another ar argument is I may do a hook punch in here, right? So I, I can bypass this line and then I give him a punch. Actually, it's not because what he need to do is he just have to turn his arm outward to keep him the same line. You don't have to even move left or right. You just have to rotate in here. So for example, if I attack here, just rotate. I, I, I still can't get you because you still have the line. So you're telling me as long as I occupy the center line, you can't get to me, right? Next time I spar, that's it. So you can, you can, you can do a hook. Yeah, then you just, yeah, hook. Just turn it. Yeah, keep the elbow in. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So you can, you see, you change the line, or you can, you can try step. It's the same. <laughs> you see that? Okay, right. So the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the center line punch. Of course, this is one of the famous, you know, Wing Chun techniques. Okay, right. What a center line punch? Wing Chun is a close distance martial art, right? So this bit you could able to you know you should able to punch in any direction right start from here this is why when we first start we start from here and then we do the hand form okay right so you know uh, basically what you do is you have, you have to relax your forearm right relax your forearm, your forearm and use your elbow to push your arm forward so for example i can demonstrate to you guys for example if you put your hand in here right this is pretty close to my body right i think you know most people they wouldn't able to produce any power in this range right so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to count one two three I'm going to push four and you're going to stop me okay right so I count one two three <laughs> do like this my Sifu used to always tell me minimum effort maximum power I see this principle not just in the Wing Chun but also in Northern Shaolin and just about every other style yeah it really like transformed the way I practice in here right so Andy first of all put your body straight relax your body okay so when you push relax your forearm when you push the elbow, for, uh, push the hip forward, uh, you have to push the hip forward and elbow forward at the same time. But you're going to go forward. Go on, oh, one, two, three, relax. That's it. Not too bad. Hey. Not too bad. Yes. <laughs> I did not know there was so much detail behind like the structure behind throwing a punch. I'm going to use this idea and apply it to all the punches that I do. You think you know something and then you talk to someone who's really an expert about it and then he just unpacks everything you think you know. Like that's, that's the feeling I got here. You know how they say in martial arts you should uh, empty your cup so that you can learn more? Basically everything I thought I knew about Wing Chun, I had to throw out. One of the series that Andy and I really like is the Kung Fu Master starring Donnie Yen. And I remember one of the most epic lines that the Red Dragon, a character in that show, ever said was, Zou Yi, but Zou Yi! Sorry for the pronunciation, but like it basically translates to um, it's the idea and not the form. And like this idea of idea over form has like captured my entire life. Like in everything I do, I try to strive for the principle so that if I ever forget the technique, I can always go back to the principle and recreate the technique. And that's why I really enjoyed learning from Sifu Leo because he's really good at conveying the principle. It's just that one thing that makes the rest of it possible. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to make. Hope you learned a lot because I know I did. If you liked that, stay tuned because you're gonna like this next bit a lot. Eh? Eh? I'm excited, I hope you are. Stay tuned because that drops on the 20th. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled. Andy and I have been working really hard on this and it's gonna blow your mind. As always, be sure to like our videos, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and we'll catch you on the next one. Marshall Club, out.